Hi students, I am very happy to meet you all. Uh, today we are going to see about 10th standard social science history part. Uh, two more questions and answers for unit 10. Social transformation in Tamil Nadu. First question, write a note on Tamil Renaissance. Answer, the cultural supremacy of colonialism and the rise of humanism brought several change in the socio-cultural life of the Tamils. The cultural supremacy of colonialism. Colonialism uh, is a policy followed by European people. So they are introduced some cultural and supremacy in India. And uh, the rise of humanism brought several changes especially in Tamil people's society and uh, cultural next the introduction of printing press a linguistic research on dravidian language etc underpinned the process of tamil renaissance renaissance means rebirth the introduction of printing press the european introduced a printing press after they are introducing printing press in india uh, many Tamil text uh, printed in uh, textbook as a textbook. Then the publication of ancient literary texts created awareness among the Tamil people about their history, tradition, language and religion. So after introduction of printing press by the Europeans in India, they are uh, their, publica their publications of some ancient literary texts. So these uh, publications created awareness among the Tamil peoples about their history, tradition, language and religions. Therefore, the rediscovery of ancient classics and their publication is considered the foundation of Tamil Renaissance. Uh, this is called Tamil Renaissance. The cultural supremacy of colonialism and the rise of humanism brought several change in the socio-cultural life of Tamils. Second one, the introduction of printing press, linguistic research and Dravidian language etc. underpinned the process of Tamil Renaissance. Third one, the publication of ancient literary texts created Awareness among the Tamil people about their history, tradition, language and religion. Therefore, the rediscovery of ancient classics and their publication is considered the foundation of Tamil Renaissance. Second question. Highlight the contribution of Caldwell for cause of South Indian languages. Caldwell, he was... An European people, uh, he has given his contribution towards South Indian language, especially Tamil. First one, Robert Caldwell formulated the theory that the South Indian languages belonged to a separate family which was unrelated to the Indo-Aryan family of language. Robert Caldwell formulated a theory uh, about South Indian language. So he has he had described about that South Indian language. It is separate family from the Indo-Aryan family languages. Uh, next, he expounded this argument in a book titled "A Comparative Grammar of Dravidian or South Indian Family of." languages in 1856. Robert Caldwell he expanded this argument in his book. That book name is A Comparative Grammar of the South Indian or uh, Dravidian Family of Languages in 1856. Next one, he established the closest affinity between the Dravidian languages and contrast with the Sanskrit and also established the antiquity of Tamil. 
he established close closest affinity between dravidian language uh, it's a dravidian language means tamil telugu kannada malayalam these were uh, interrelated with each others but it is not uh, related with sanskrit it's a very contrast with sanskrit so this is the contribution of caldwell for south indian languages robert caldwell formulated the theory that the south indian languages belonged to a separate family which was unrelated to indo aryan family of languages he expanded this argument in a book title a comparative grammar of dravidian or south indian family of languages in 1856 he established the close affinity between the dravidian languages in contrast with the sanskrit and also established the antiquity of tamil next question list out the personalities who contributed to the revival of tamil literature through their writings many personalities who had given their contribution towards the revival of tamil literatures by their writings like the personalities uh, c w damodaranar u v saminathanar thiruvi kalyana sundaram parithimar kalinjar maraimalai adigal subramanya bharathi s vayyaburi bharathidasan they were the main personalities given their uh, great contribution to the tamil literatures by their writings like uh, c w damodaranar u v saminathanar thiruvi kalyana sundaranar shortly he has called us thirivika and parithimar kalinjar maraimalai adigal subramanya bharathi s vayyaburi and bharathidasan next question discuss the importance of hindu religious endowment act passed by the justice ministry justice party they formed their ministry during the british period in 1920 after formation of their ministry in tamil nadu uh, they had introduced a hindu religion endowment act okay the first answer tamil nadu has a large number of temples and this commanded huge resources at the time of justice party rule in tamil country in 1920 uh, it has a large number of temples and those and this commanded huge resources uh, then in general the resources were monopolized and exploited by the dominant caste in the society and led mismanagement of public resources so in the temples uh, it uh, given rich resources those all resources monopolized by a uh, dominant caste in the society and also they were followed mismanagement of public resources so that uh, the justice party introduced a hindu religious endowment act in 1926 the hindu religious endowment act was passed in 1926 by the justice party next it enabled any individual irrespective of their caste affiliation to become member of the temples uh, before introduced of hindu religious endowment act there were monopolized and dominated by uh, dominated caste in the society but after introduced of hindu religious endowment act uh, it enabled irrespective of their caste affiliation to become member of the temples all are equal uh, all the caste peoples are eligibility to become a member of temple and also maintaining their resources and uh, it's uh, distributed to the public next committee and govern the resources of religious institution committee and govern the resources of the religious institution this is called hindu religious endowment act passed by justice ministry 
Tamil Nadu has a large number of temples and this commanded huge resources. In general, the resources were monopolized and exploited by dominant caste in the society and led mismanagement of public resources. So, the Justice Party introduced the Hindu Religious Endowment Act in 1926. It enabled any individual, irrespective of their caste affiliation, to become member of the temple, committee and govern the resources of the religious institutions. Next question. Name the newspapers published by the South Indian Liberal Foundation. The, the uh, South Indian Liberal Foundation had introduced uh, three newspapers in three languages like Tamil, English, Telugu, three languages, three newspapers. Uh, first newspaper, Dravidian in Tamil, Justice in English, Andhra Prakashika in Telugu. So among these three papers, uh, the South Indian Liberal Foundation name was changed or taken from uh, changed as justice party which was taken from uh, english newspaper justice so this is a uh, three newspapers dravidian in tamil justice in english andhra prakashika in telugu next question estimate perrier as feminist answer he condemned child marriage and the Devadasi system, the Devadasi system, institution of temple girls. He condemned a child marriage. Since Tamil countries and uh, Indian India, the many peoples are followed child marriage. He condemned that child marriage. Then uh, he condemned that Devadasi system. Devadasi system which was uh, introduced by uh, Cholas peoples uh, last thousand years ago. So, Devadasi system, uh, it is the institution of temple guilds. Devadasis are uh, performing a dance during the festival times in the temples. Uh, later, their uh, period and the conditions, their conditions were very miserable uh, by the uh, zamindar landlords etc N next question periyar emphasized on women's right to divorce and uh, property periyar emphasized uh, women's right equal to men women's right to divorce and uh, property then periyar objected to terms like giving in marriage giving in marriage he objected it is no, it is wrong like the giving in marriage is wrong he said that terms treats woman as a thing if you are uh, use this name giving in marriage uh, he said this term treats woman as a thing not a human it is considered as a thing so he wants to substituted by uh, Valkai Tunai, helpmate, uh, this word. Instead of giving in marriage, uh, he insisted to change uh, Valkai Tunai, helpmate, which was taken from Tirukural. Next, Periyar believed that property rights for women would provide them a so social status and protection. Uh, equal to men, the Periyar believed that property rights also increased the status of women in the society if we are if they are women's getting uh, property from their guardian or parents uh, it is uh, raised their status in the society he welcomed equal rights for males and females in property guardianship and uh, adoption this is called uh, periyar as a feminist he condemned child marriage and the Devadasi system, institution of temple guilds. Periyar emphasized an woman's right to divorce and property. Periyar objected to terms like giving in marriage. He said that terms treats woman as a thing. He wants 
it's substituted by walkai tunai helpmate a periyar believed that property rights for women would provide them a social status and protection he welcomed equal rights for males and females in property guardianship and adoption okay students i hope it's very useful to you if you feel it's useful to you uh, please subscribe uh, and share to your friends thank you